It was just so much trying for me. I was falling apart. For years, we all thought Farah Abraham's baby daddy, Derek Underwood, was a good-for-nothing dad who'd passed away before their child was born. But as it turns out, Derek was way more than that to Farah. And there's a lot about the relationship that we just didn't know. The details about their whirlwind of a romance and the relationship that she still has with his family to this day will shock you. In late December of 2008, Derek unfortunately lost his life in a car accident after losing control of his car while driving. And although it's not totally confirmed if there were any substances involved, the crash was still pretty bad. The car had skidded and even flipped over onto a power pole, and even the passenger, Zachary Mendoza, sadly lost his life. At the time, Farah was pregnant with their daughter, Sophia, and was close to giving birth. While Farah was featured on the MTV show 16 and Pregnant, and then later on Teen Mom, not much was said about Derek at first. On 16 and Pregnant, Farah just said that Sophia's father had passed away. But at the time of the accident, she'd apparently already begun distancing herself from him, with her mother even telling her that she needed to cut all contact with him and block his number for good. And on the surface, hearing something like that really makes you think that he did something wrong, or that he wasn't a very good guy in one way or another. But it seems like that wasn't exactly the case. On the show Teen Mom, Farah opened up more about her relationship with Derek. She said that the last time she actually saw him, she was just five months pregnant. She also opened up about her relationship with his family and his relationship with hers. She said that it wasn't always easy for them since they didn't get along with each other's families. Farah mentioned that Derek never really got along with her father and they supposedly even used to fight. At one point, they got into such a bad fight that they pulled weapons on each other and the cops were called. Farah's dad actually even ended up in jail over the altercation, which she just felt was really sad. But it turns out that Farah had her own issues too, since she really didn't get along with Derek's biological mother, Stormy Clark. At one point, Farah accused Stormy of stealing her daughter Sophia from the babysitter's home when she was just six months old. But Stormy completely denies this. She said that she never took Sophia, and she still claims that Farah never lets her see her granddaughter. Apparently, the only time she's ever met her was when they accidentally bumped into each other while taking a stroll in the park. Stormy also claims that Farah never actually told Derek that she was pregnant with his daughter in the first place. Though this seems like a little bit of conflicting information, considering the fact that Farah was supposedly five months pregnant the last time she saw him, it's pretty clear that Farah just doesn't get along with Derek's biological mother. They even had drama as recently as 2016. And interestingly enough, it's actually still not clear whether or not she had any kind of relationship with his biological sisters. But the feeling of dislike is definitely mutual between the families, since Farah revealed in her 2012 book that her parents just didn't care when Derek passed away. She said that neither of them was sad about his passing, and her mother alleged even made a comment saying that it was better for her and Sophia that he was gone. But even though their families have had a pretty rocky relationship, Farah does actually still maintain a relationship with Derek's father and his stepmother, Deborah Underwood, and the relationship actually seems to be pretty good. Deborah has even defended Farah many times to the media. She even told Radar Online that Farah brings Sophia to visit them every few months and that she genuinely wants Sophia to know her dad's side of the family. Sophia apparently even gets along with Deborah's two children. And even though Sophia has obviously never met her father, Farah always tries her best to keep his memory alive for her. In a social media post from 2020, Farah shared a tribute to Derek on the 13th anniversary of his passing. She said that she was so grateful to see the word father on his headstone today and that she was grateful for the family they had together. She also said that she learned more about trauma, loss, depression, and the human condition through her experience of losing him. She stood by the fact that he'd made a huge difference in her world and in so many other worlds too. Farah finished the post by saying that he was the love of her life, that he would always be in her mind, and that he gave her the strength to make the world a better place. This was all a really sweet thing to say, and it gave us even more insight into what their relationship was actually like. The two MTV shows really made it seem like they weren't in a good place or that they had a bad relationship. And although it seems like they were going through some kind of a rift at the time, I think that they really loved each other. But there's a lot more that we didn't know about Derek and what he was like. His sister said that although he liked to live life on the edge, Derek was always responsible, and he would always come home at the end of the day. Although he was only 18 at the time of his passing, Derek loved cooking and apparently had dreams of going to culinary school. He was actually starting to get into the industry by working as a waiter and server at a restaurant in Omaha, Nebraska. It's impossible to know what his and Farah's relationship would have been like had he not passed away, but based on what people have had to say about it, it really seems like he would have been a great father. And it's possible that he and Farah could have had a long and beautiful relationship while growing a family together. In May 2021, Farah actually shared an old love note that Derek had written to her while they were still in a relationship. The note was actually from MySpace and just said that he missed her with a love heart, which although it is pretty short, it is a very sweet note to have saved from someone she loved so much. And Farah said that whenever she's having a hard day, she remembers his note and it helps to cheer her up. It also turns out that they had dated for longer than any of us realized. They were apparently together for over two and a half years. And for young love, 
love, I would say that's pretty impressive, and it seems as though they really had a special connection. Farah even said that she loved it so much when she saw that Sophia looked just like Derek when she was born. And although Farah has definitely come under fire over the years about her parenting and how she chose to raise Sophia, it's clear that she was doing the best she could, especially since she was so young when she became pregnant. Not only that, but she did the whole thing completely alone. Though there's no doubt that she wishes Derek could have been there to see all the amazing moments in both hers and Sophia's life. Anyway, what do you guys think? Did you know that Derek and Farah actually had a long and very loving relationship up until the filming of 16 and Pregnant? And what do you think about Farah's relationship with Derek's biological mother, Stormy? Do you think Farah is telling the truth about Stormy taking Sophia when she was a baby? Let me know in the comments below.